Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have a new major update for Flux model called Flux Tools, which was released by the Black Forest Lab team. And this tool allows you to do many interesting things since it has four different main models. So today I will try to show you how you can use those tools using ConfUI. If you head over to their website, you can clearly see for all those tools. We have the Flux field, which is suitable for in-painting or out-painting using Flux models. We also have the Depth and the Canny models, which are two type of models here. We have the Flux Depth model, for example, which is a model dedicated especially uh, for the using depth models. And we have the LoRa type model, which are LoRa that are dedicated for depth and canny preprocessor in order to create new type of images. And finally, we have the Redux models, which allows you to do style transfer like IP adapter used to do. So today I will try to cover the, the depth canny and the Redux models. And I will try to do a separate video for the Flux Fill models. So if you go over to this comfy anonymous github link you can clearly see the uh, different uh, workflow that are dedicated to this new update however based on that i decided to create a new custom workflow which are suitable for every users since it can take into consideration your pc configuration and it allows you to use both apps and canny preprocessors in order to has uh, in order to uh, obtain your final results in addition to that, you can upscale your final image when you are satisfied with the results. Okay, I will give you a quick overview for this workflow. Here we have the Flux model group, which uh, compile different Flux group. I have here the unit loader for GGUF. I have the checkpoint loader for the main Flux development model. And I also add the load diffusion model, which can allows you to use the Flux light model. In addition to that, I add this power LoRa loader which allows you to use different LoRa combined together. You just have to add your LoRa and use this uh, switch over here. For our example, I will try to test it with this depth LoRa model. And I also add this Turbo Flux LoRa with, alongside with this Flux development model in order for me to use only eight steps. And it will give you the desired results in a short amount of time since I only have six uh, gigabyte of VRAM. So it is very suitable for uh, low VRAM users. On the second group, I have here this Florence run uh, nodes that allows you to generate uh, the prompt automatically using only your image as an input. Then I have here this Florence model loader, which will generate this text over here, as you can see it. After that, I, uh, this text is gonna be taken into consideration by this clip text encoder then it's gonna be plugged directly into the flux guidance to use that make sure that you select the task here for, for more detailed caption and for this control after generate i decided to, to to change it to fixed this way it can only stick to this one prompt that will be generated the first time okay for the clip text encoder i am using this dual clip loader but you can also use the triple clip loader for more precise results if you pay attention here, we have this Flux guidance, which was by default equal to 10 with the default workflow provided with uh, by Comfy Anonymous. Here we have our VAE decode and we have also a new nodes here that is used for this type of operations. I have the conditioning plugged into positive. Then I have the negative here. We also have the plug for the VAE and this pixel over here is directly related to our preprocessors. So for this third group, I added this depth anything and canny edge preprocessors, which allows you to generate the depth map or the canny map based on your image or preference. For this example, I am using the, the, this depth anything here, but if you want to use or switch to canny, just plug this image over here. And also don't forget to activate this Flux scanny model and the switch off this depth uh, model. This way you can use this uh, Flux scanny LoRa instead of the depth. You can also see that I am choosing a strength value of 0 0.75, which give me the best result according to my tests. And of course you can vary this value according to your taste. Okay, also don't forget to choose the resolution to 1024 here for both scanny and depth anything. 
otherwise you will you will end up with low resolution images since this value is blocked by default to to a lower resolution and then this instruction pix to pix is blocked direct into a classic key sampler here i have this euler as a sampler as scheduler we are using a normal one and i am using eight steps since since we are using this turbo flux lora so as you can see the results take me only this time in order to generate these images that's why i told you in the beginning that this workflow is very suitable for low vram users because control net uh, preprocessors used to be a, a very high vram consuming uh, in addition to that the flux model are also very uh, consuming so with this method you can use both the depth uh, and canny preprocessors alongside with the flux model in a short amount of time and also with low vram uh, usage and as you can see the results here is very impressive here we have this image which has a lot of saturated colors and it doesn't look very realistic however when we use this depth control net the image looks more interesting and more realistic in addition to that you can use this upscaled group just right click set group to always and it will do the same thing since we have this model plugged on this def the development model oh sorry let me just plug it here this way you can use the, the ultimate sd upscale at low cfg and steps also don't forget to play with the denoise and uh, you can choose a value between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 for better results for the upscaling model i am choosing as always the ultra sharp four times and that's practically everything i wanted to show you for this workflow so it's up to you now to choose which LoRa you want to use and what uh, type of result you want to get. You can also try to play with different uh, flux models, but don't forget to change uh, the steps for uh, this key sampler. And in addition to that, you don't have to bother yourself with the prompt uh, typing since it is automatically generated with the image. So before you can use this workflow, you need to install some additional things and download the necessary model for you in order to use this workflow okay let's start by this uh, flux depth and can heal aura just uh, use this link under my description it will uh, dive you directly into hugging fakes for the blocks forest uh, profile then here you can just select the depth lora go to file and version and you need to sign some agreement before you can download this model as you can see it is only weighted 1.2 gigabyte then go to ConfiUI root folder, enter model, search for LoRa, and paste it here. Do the same thing for the Kani model. It should weigh the same size as this uh, depth LoRa. After that, you will also need to install this Florence uh, nodes. Just use the link under my description. Copy the code. Go to your custom nodes. Here type in CMD, then git clone, and paste your code here. Once it is done, clock, uh, close your window, enter, search for ConfiUI Florence 2 file, enter the file, then type in CMD again, and here click install pip, and here click pip install r dash dash r requirements dot txt. Just click enter and it should install everything for you. Once it is done, go to your Comfy UI, make sure to update your Comfy UI, then make sure to update all and restart your Comfy UI. This way you will have everything that you need in order for you to use this workflow. And if you can't uh, install uh, everything that I show you, you can just uh, drag and drop my workflow here, then go to manager and click here install missing custom nodes it should automatically install everything for you okay now the second tool that i want to show you is the flux redox model which allows you basically to transfer the, the style of an image or to create variant image based on the reference images like this example here in order to make it work let's first download the necessary file it is here named flux1 redox and it is not weighted too much once it is completed make sure to go to comfy y root folder then search for styles it should be visible to you once you update your comfy y okay make sure to copy uh, your file here then go to comfy anonymous uh, flux examples 
make sure to download to use this image here just use it and drag it here and this workflow should be visible for you here you can see that we have the load styles models and also we need to use this uh, clip vision which is dedicated for this redux uh, model in order to install it you can just download this C clip file then place under clip uh, file uh, in comfy y root folder or you can simply download it here just go to comfy y manager enter model manager and on the search bar type in redux uh, here you can clearly see the necessary file just make sure to click download here and it will install everything automatically once it is done restart your comfy y and we are good to use this workflow okay as you can see it is very simple and basic workflow for flux models at the exception of this main group that uh, it is named redux models where we have here our load clip vision our load style model and our then this special node called apply style model which regroup everything together then here we have our dual clip text our vae our load diffusion model i also added a lora loader in order to use the turbo model for the flux uh, when you do that don't forget to change the step to 8 and here we have our resolution so what this uh, workflow do is basically take this image style and uh, change it to create another one as you can see for this example right here when you click group q prompt it's gonna take into consideration this style that comes from this image however as you can see here we have this clip text encode that says cute anime girl with massive fluffy fennec ears and it is not taken into consideration just search for average conditioning then let's plug this one here and the prompt box here then we will connect everything to the basic guider okay let me reduce the average strength to 0 0.2 then then when you click q prompt you will end up with this type of image it is mixing between the phoenix ears and face and this guy over here so it's up to you now to play with the conditioning string in order to obtain different results so okay that's it for today's tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel leave me some comments down below and don't forget to watch my other video tutorial about comfy ui thank you